From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. Why spend hours at the store looking for the perfect card, then driving to the post office to get stamps for it when you don't even have to leave the house? Do it all at SendOutCards.com slash weird and create your own greeting card like those fancy ones you find in gift shops. They'll even deliver it for you. Try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com slash weird. That's SendOutCards.com slash weird. In Germany, an alleged guitar thief was caught after trying to serenade a group of prostitutes with the stolen instrument. The police noticed the man on a street trying to play the guitar for the women who didn't seem all that interested. Probably because prostitutes go for guys with money and street musicians don't have any. How much money would it take to get you to lose some serious weight? $100? $500? Many employers are betting they can find your price. At least a third of U.S. companies offer financial incentives or are planning to introduce them to get their employees to lose weight or get healthier in other ways. You know, this would totally work for me. I love this idea. I mean, do you have any idea how many McDonald's Extra Value meals of $500 could buy? A transgender woman will fight a man at an MMA event in Brazil next month, marking the first publicized matchup of its kind in the history of the sport. Ann Variado, a 21-year-old brown belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, will take on Railson Paixo in a strawweight bout on March 10th. Variado says, "...it's only fair to fight men. It never crossed my mind to fight a woman because I think I'm too good. I don't think it's fair to fight women." Yeah, you know, at one point I believe Ronda Rousey felt that same way. Canadian pairs skater Megan Duhamel, a two-time world champion, rescued her mini dachshund Mute from a South Korean meat farm last February. So I guess those people will have to get their hot dogs elsewhere. A recent study finds that drinking more beer could lower women's risk of having a heart attack by 30 percent. So you gotta ask, what's more important, your heart or your liver? Sports Illustrated has revealed Danielle Harrington will be on the cover of next week's swimsuit issue. You know, I will never understand how this world works anymore. I mean, we have women demanding respect, not wanting to be treated simply as sex objects, and men being fired from their jobs for treating them that way, and yet we have the annual swimsuit issue. Does anybody see the hypocrisy here? A recent survey conducted by The Knot revealed that 65 percent of couples are failing to factor the honeymoon into their wedding budgets. Hey, no problem. Skip the $20,000 wedding that only lasts 45 minutes. Use half that money for a great honeymoon, pay off your bills with the rest of it, send everybody a postcard with an address to where to send the gifts. There you go. Problem solved. Hey, it worked for us. A male University of Arizona cheerleader was ejected for heckling an Arizona State player during a recent Pac-12 game. Arizona State guard Remy Martin was at the free-throw line in the second half when the cheerleader's heckling caught the attention of longtime Pac-12 official Randy McCall, who stared down the cheerleader just before he said into a megaphone, "'Not today, Remy!' Well, McCall then reportedly walked over to the scorer's table and said, "'This guy needs to get out of here.'" McCall adds of the cheerleader, "'He was yelling, using the megaphone to call out people by name, which is not acceptable, and he was asked to please stop, and he chose not to.'" You know, Remy, he could have heckled him back. Oh, yeah, well, you're a cheerleader who's also a man, so what's up with that? A lock of George Washington's hair was discovered in an envelope along with a note tucked into a book at the Union College Library in New York. And we know it's real because it came with a note that said, I cannot tell a lie. This is my hair. The study says chemicals found in food wrappers are linked to weight gain. Okay, well, here's a crazy idea. Don't eat the food wrappers! Lamar Chambers was arrested last month in the UK and charged with two counts of possession with intent to supply a Class A drug, failing to stop, and driving without insurance. Police believe the alleged dope dealer swallowed a large supply of unidentified drugs during the stop and they've got him locked up waiting for the drugs to uh, reappear on the other end. But so far, he has not passed the evidence, and it's currently been about a month now since he's taken a dump. Yeah. You know what? I, when, when the drugs do finally show back up, I think they should just let Lamar off. I mean, with time served. Ouch. While we're talking poop, 
In Alberg, Vermont, Mark Johnson is finally admitted to spraying manure all over a U.S. Customs and Border Protection cruiser last summer. Police say Johnson sprayed the cruiser back in August after a profanity-laced tirade about why more wasn't being done to arrest immigrants in the country illegally. He initially said he didn't know the car was nearby when he turned on his manure spreader. In a plea deal, Johnson admitted to charges of simple assault on a law enforcement officer with fluids and disorderly conduct. He'll be required to do 24 hours of community service and write an apology. I think you should also have to wash the car. I mean, you should have seen that thing. It looked like it was dipped in chocolate. A recent study says a simple email can significantly raise your stress levels. Researchers watched 30 government employees as they worked and measured their stress levels throughout the day. When emails started coming in, 83% reported quicker pulse and higher blood pressure. In other words, email spam is literally killing you. Mike Pence is not happy with Joy Behar of ABC's The View after she said of the Veep's religious beliefs, it's one thing to talk to Jesus, it's another thing when Jesus talks to you. That's called mental illness. Really? Then what would you say if a man said this? But I heard the voice of Jesus saying still to fight on. Is that guy mentally ill too? Because that was Martin Luther King Jr. McDonald's says it's going to make their Happy Meals healthier worldwide by the year 2022. You know, unless they're planning on just making the box itself edible and putting nothing inside of it, I don't see how they plan on accomplishing this with the current Mickey D's menu. A study says people who laugh at themselves with self-depreciating humor are more likely to have greater psychological well-being. Why do I feel like I'm an argument against that? French researchers are saying that high-processed foods, such as cakes, breads, and chicken nuggets, are linked to cancer. See, now that is why I always demand free-range chicken McNuggets in my Happy Meal. I mean, that just sounds healthier, doesn't it? An Arizona woman went to bed with a pounding headache, only to wake up speaking in a British accent. So she went to sleep pained and woke up pompous. A woman is suing Walmart after slipping on ranch dressing in the men's shoe department. Ranch dressing in the men's shoe department. But do loafers now come with a free trip to the salad bar? Hey, how about edible shoes for the new McDonald's healthy happy meal? Researchers have discovered that monkeys who experience increased hormonal reactions to stress while infants are more likely to consume large amounts of alcohol as they reach adulthood. They also found that male monkeys drank more than females, and those raised without adult contact drank more than those raised with their mothers. Right, hold on a second here. Since when are monkeys ever prone to becoming alcoholics? I mean, shouldn't they also say in the study that monkeys are more prone to drink when scientists force them to drink alcohol? Hello? D don't you dare try to associate this study with what happens to humans. We don't have men in white lab coats coming to us and forcing tequila down our gullets. What has this study got to do with anything relevant to the human existence? <sighs> Getting monkeys plastered. Your tax dollars hard at work. 23 members of a Melbourne family were kicked off a Carnival cruise ship in southern New Wales Friday after a violent brawl broke out on board between passengers and security staff. Eh, sounds like that could have been the most exciting show being offered on the cruise line. Model Karen McDougal claims she had an affair with President Trump in 2006 and got a $150,000 payment to stay quiet before the election. Oh yeah, well, nice job staying quiet there, Karen! The Jamaican women's bobsled coach decided to up and quit and threatened to take the sled with her. It's the Winter Olympics version of I'm taking my basketball and going home. What a good night's sleep! It could be time to sleep apart from your spouse. There's a lot of evidence that sleeping apart is gathering popularity, at least in the U.S. The National Association of Home Builders says it expects 60 percent of new homes to have dual master bedrooms by next year. Uh, she doesn't have to listen to my snoring, I don't have to deal with her ice-cold feet, we can visit each other whenever we want, that sounds perfect to me! Police say that the 2003 winner of the reality TV show Survivor, Jenna Moraska, bit a police officer after being found unconscious in her parked car and revived with the opioid overdose antidote Narcan. Uh, she doesn't sound like much of a survivor to me! Oprah says that God did not tell her to run for president. 
I'm guessing it's because God didn't have an appointment and she's just been too busy lately. New research claims men don't mature until they are 43, 11 years after women. But at least men know they take more time to grow up. In the same study, men were nearly twice as likely to describe themselves as immature than were women, with one in four men believing they are actively immature. And I guess it depends on what constitutes immature. I mean, I don't play video games, I don't go drinking with the guys, but I do use light beer in my Cocoa Puffs. The CEO of Taco Bell is moving over to Chipotle. It's the prime example of choosing the lesser of two evils. Electric and hybrid vehicles can be eerily quiet at low speeds, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration believes that is a safety problem. Starting in 2019, the NHTSA will require all new electric and hybrid light-duty vehicles to make noise at speeds below 19 miles per hour to alert pedestrians they are there. Awesome! We're finally making glass packs cool again! The U.S. will issue a postage stamp honoring Mr. Rogers in the near future. And it's about time. Now I can finally have Mr. McFeely deliver a letter to Henrietta Pussycat in the land of make-believe. More states are requiring physical education for elementary, middle, and high school students, though few require kids to exercise for a specific amount of time. A report released by the American Heart Association and the National Association for Sport and Physical Education said exercise for school children is also threatened by a rising number of waivers and exemptions from PE in school districts around the country. You know, I was going to do a more in-depth look into this and go on location, but I have a note right here from my mother saying I don't have to. Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau announced they are splitting up after two and a half years of marriage. The pair says their breakup is a decision mutual and loving made at the end of last year and that they, quote, decided to part ways as a couple but look forward to continuing their cherished friendship, unquote. Sounds like Jenny has been spending too much time with Gwyneth Paltrow with her conscious uncoupling mindset. Amazon Studios officially fired actor and Transparent star Jeffrey Tambor last week following an investigation into sexual harassment allegations. And after watching Arrested Development, I can't believe anybody was surprised by this. A study at Columbus Business School shows that the bigger the desk someone has, the more likely they are to steal. Makes sense. The bigger the desk, the more places you have to hide the stuff you steal. How weird is this? Police in Western Germany have freed two men who became entangled with a mannequin and a large remote-controlled car. Yep, officers were called after cries were heard from an apartment in the city of Mainz in the early hours of the morning. Police found the 58-year-old tenant and a 61-year-old visitor hopelessly locked together with the toy car and the mannequin, which was dressed in a knight's costume. Officers were able to free the men who were too drunk to explain how their unfortunate predicament had come about. According to a police statement, the whole thing would have remained a funny episode, but the younger man was more than impolite and now faces a charge of insulting officers. And you thought your Uncle Fred was weird. A new study says that the brains of songbirds are designed to find a mate for life. That's why so many of them meet their life partners on karaoke night. Colorado gym teacher is being charged with child abuse after forcing a student to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Wow! So the definition of abuse has really changed since I was a kid. So now, instead of broken bones and bruises being evidence enough for child welfare to visit, now you're in trouble just for forcing a kid to stand for 30 seconds. CNN is reporting that 78% of fake news is actually made up. Let's say that again. CNN is reporting that 78% of fake news is actually made up, meaning CNN believes that 22% of fake news is not made up. Well, if it's not made up, then how could it be fake news? And how can a news organization like CNN not understand the definition of the word fake? What is in the water at CNN? Alaska Airlines offered free wine to its passengers on Sunday because it was National Drink Wine Day. Okay, now aren't most problems with passengers on airlines due to them being inebriated? So your solution is to offer them free alcohol? A New York Times story finds that the United States is by far the world's most expensive place to give birth. According to the article, the U.S. is also by far the place where you find most obstetricians with the biggest boats. 
Monday, a day after her controversial rendition of the national anthem, Fergie issued a statement addressing criticism of her performance at Sunday's NBA All-Star Game. She said, "...I've always been honored and proud to perform the national anthem, and last night I wanted to try something special for the NBA." Oh, yeah, it was special, all right. The anthem never sounded sexier. A report says that road trip vacations in the U.S. are on the increase. Well, you know what? After seeing on the news what happens to everyday people on the airlines, can you actually blame us for choosing the station wagon instead? KFC has been forced to temporarily close hundreds of its restaurants in the United Kingdom after a logistics snafu stopped chicken deliveries. About 800 of the company's roughly 900 locations in Britain were closed as of midday Monday. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking maybe having chicken would be kind of a necessity for KFC. Yeah. Okay, staff, uh, we're out of chicken, so start using the 11 herbs and spices on these seat cushions. And maybe nobody will notice if we make them extra crispy. There are reports that Gibson, the famous guitar maker, is facing bankruptcy. I wonder if that's real guitar bankruptcy or just air guitar bankruptcy. Even though it's winter, Campbell's says that their soup sales are down 7 percent. Well, just do the same thing every other food company does to increase their profits. Start selling pumpkin spice chicken noodle soup, pumpkin spice tomato soup, pumpkin spice split pea soup, ooh, pumpkin spice clam chowder. Harvard researcher Grant E. Donnelly studied more than 4,000 millionaires and came to the conclusion that people with more wealth tend to report being happier with life. Be looking for his findings in an upcoming paper titled Studying the Obvious. William Shatner has signed on with a country music label. That has got to be in the book of Revelations somewhere. NBC Olympics ratings are sliding, and there's talk this could be the lowest-rated Olympics ever. You know, honestly, I would be fine if they stuck the Olympics on the web and bring back the normal fall-winter programming we were watching TV for to begin with. Monday, the American Political Science Association came out with a new ranking of U.S. presidents for President's Day, and the current White House occupant comes in dead last. The assessment is made by all 170 members of the group made up of Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. See, this is because he is such a huge winner that the top spot isn't winning enough, and so they had to round it right back around to the back of the line just to make room for all of that awesomeness. A new study says that coffee beans are good for birds. Great. Now I'll get to Starbucks and there'll be a flock in front of me. The FDA says a drug used to euthanize animals has been found in canned dog food, and that has prompted a recall. Low levels of the drug pentobarbital were detected in cans of gravy-trained dog food. The FDA says pets that eat pet food containing pentobarbital can experience drowsiness, dizziness, and the inability to stand. Consuming high levels of the drug can cause coma and even death. Okay, where can I get some of that food? That sounds exactly like what is needed from my neighbor's crazy pet chihuahua. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have invited the Obamas to their wedding, but not President and Melania Trump. <sighs> Ouch. On a Transavia airline flight last week from Dubai to Amsterdam, the pilot had to make an emergency stop in Vienna when one of the passengers refused to stop farting. Ironically, once on the ground for the emergency stop, they decided to gas up the plane. In Holland, a man was sent to prison for six weeks for being a fake hairdresser. He said he liked to touch women's hair, so he went door-to-door -door offering free haircuts. Problem was, he had no idea what he was doing, and the women ended up with their hair ruined. Okay, word of advice, if somebody is going door-to-door -door offering their services, those services were probably not good enough to get a job elsewhere. I mean, would you let a complete stranger give you a pap smear just because he knocked on your door and said he was a doctor? A study in Britain says that money can buy happiness, but only if you have more than your friends and neighbors. Because let's face it, after looking at the way they dress, they obviously don't know where to shop. Democratic California Assemblywoman Christina Garcia has been a big advocate for the hashtag MeToo campaign and now finds herself being accused of the very thing she has taken a stand against. 
Former A David John Kimmick is suing Garcia, claiming she fired him for not wanting to play spin the bottle in her hotel room after a night of heavy drinking at a fundraiser in 2014. So, hashtag me too, too. In a new report, scientists say that activating a certain two sets of neurons in the brains of mice, they were able to transform the docile creatures into savage predators. They say it's the same neurons that are switched on by Antifa activists. When Jess Malera and Tony Sanchez were planning their wedding in Miami, they decided to skip the traditional white wedding cake and serve a four-tier pizza instead. You gotta wonder what else they changed about this wedding. I mean, maybe the, the garter was exchanged for a plastic zip tie? The bouquet toss traded in the flowers for a six-pack of light beer? Instead of throwing rice, the crowd threw peanut shells, left over from the peanuts they munched on during the actual ceremony. Hey, they could have gone whole hog trailer park with this! Winn-Dixie and Topps supermarkets are said to be preparing to file for bankruptcy, though the only winning and being on top is at being at the bottom. Environmentalists say that raking leaves is not good for the ecosystem in your backyard and say that yard debris constitutes 13 percent of all the solid waste in the United States every year. The National Wildlife Federation says you should leave dead leaves where they fall since they become a natural fertilizer for your soil. In addition, chipmunks, salamanders, earthworms, turtles, and other small creatures live in the leaves or use them for food and nesting material. And I am immediately printing out this story and saving it for the next time my wife gives me yard work to do. Yeah, sorry, honey, but it's bad for the environment. Hey, I'm heading to Arby's. You want something? And just so you can put it on your calendar, World Naked Gardening Day is May 6th. Texas college student Elizabeth Moreno had back surgery in 2015, and when the bill came in for a follow-up drug test, Moreno saw that she had been charged $17,850 by the lab, which I am guessing put her right back into the hospital for shock. Good news and bad news regarding women and equal pay. The good news is the World Economic Forum says it will happen. The bad news is, based on their best guess, using business and economic predicting algorithms, it won't happen until 2186. So you're still making progress, feminists. Congratulations. You, you won't be around to see it, but congratulations anyway. Health researchers say they found a troubling link between higher consumption of rice and type 2 diabetes, a disease that in some countries is becoming an epidemic. Further work is needed to probe the apparent association and diets that are notoriously high in sugar and fats should remain on the no-go list, they cautioned. That's right, white rice is now considered a sugar. Try adding that to your coffee in the morning and see how far it gets you. Artificial intelligence researcher David Levy says humans could marry robots within the century. Levy adds, my forecast is that around 2050, the state of Massachusetts will be the first jurisdiction to legalize marriage with robots. Warning, warning, Will Robinson, Dr. Smith is trying to take me as his bride. Danger, danger. A survey found that the most useful thing that students learn while at college is how to do laundry. Tens of thousands of dollars to learn something you could discover after spending just a few quarters at the laundromat. A new University of California study says that drinking alcohol is the key to living to your 90s. Of those people studied, those who drank about two glasses of beer or wine each day were 18 percent less likely to experience a premature death. Of course, these are students at a university in California, so they might be tweaking the results a bit just to justify the drunken fraternity parties. Fergie has finally officially apologized for her performance of the national anthem on Sunday at the NBA All-Star Game. You know, at least Fergie has some class here in admitting she made a mistake with this. I'm still waiting to hear I'm sorry from Roseanne 25 years ago. A new study claims that Americans have 60 bad days a year, 80 percent of those caused by work. Yeah, I'm shocked too. Only 80 percent caused by work? The dating app Bumble says that downhill skiers are the most active on the app over in the Olympics. Congratulations, Bumble. You just proved that privacy of your users is not important to you one little bit. Way to go. Danish researchers found that the thinner a person's thighs, the greater the risk for heart disease and premature death. So I'm immortal? 
Even though Republican Kevin Nicholson is running to unseat incumbent Democrat Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin in November, his parents have donated to Baldwin's primary campaign anyway. Nicholas tells CNN, "...my parents have a different worldview than I do, and it's not surprising that they would support a candidate like Tammy Baldwin who shares their perspective." Nicholson went on to say to his parents, "...well, if you like Tammy so much, why don't you adopt her?" And then he broke down and sobbed for a while. Tony Braxton has confirmed her engagement to Birdman. But she did have to promise to keep Birdman's identity a secret so he can continue fighting crime as a masked vigilante. Consumers worried about the origins of their clothing, coffee, and chocolate might want to focus more on the origins of their Bible. Chances are pretty good that your favorite Bible was printed in China. Last year, printers in China produced 12.4 million Bibles, making China the world's biggest Bible publisher, which is kind of hypocritical seeing as China is antagonistic towards Christianity. Has anybody checked to see if those Bibles contain lead? Beyoncé's daughter, Blue Ivy, was carrying an $1,800 Louis Vuitton purse at the NBA All-Star Game last Sunday. Six years old, carrying a purse that costs $1,800. Oh yeah, she'll be totally prepared for the real world. A Russian curler has been charged with using performance-enhancing drugs. To make matters worse, he was also using a Quidditch broom. Amazon's Jeff Bezos has invested $42 million into building a giant clock in Texas that should run for 10,000 years. I had no idea Jeff Bezos had entered politics, did you? I mean, really, only a politician is this efficient at wasting money. Staying off Facebook could make you happier. The study out of Denmark used 1,095 participants, with half being asked to dump Facebook for a week. The results showed that those who left Facebook reported significantly higher life satisfaction. Which I have a hard time believing. I mean, how can you possibly be happy without the ability to comment with vile, hateful political opinions about gun rights, religion, gender, or liberal college snowflakes in other people's comment sections? According to a survey concerning the nation's bathrooms, 39% of those asked say they inspect the medicine cabinet of those they visit. So hide the Xanax, the Oxy, or whatever it is you're using. In Marion County, Florida, a 35-year-old guy unleashed a barrage of hot dog-related attacks after the clerk at a convenience store wouldn't sell him beer. You know, with what we know about the making of hot dogs, he'll probably be charged with assault using chemical weapons. 30% of women in a recent survey say they will not marry a man who has a bad credit score. Meanwhile, 70% of men will not continue to date a woman who does a credit check before the first date. Wild weather in Denver this week, where the temperature dropped 72 degrees in just 40 hours. Coloradans are now stocking up on tauntauns, so they have one at all times in case they need to climb inside for warmth. Nearly half of all American workers gripe about being burned out, even though they did not use up all their vacation days. According to a survey by Yahoo Hot Jobs, 45% did not take all their time off, while 39% say they were too exhausted to go on a real vacation. Another 36% claim to be too busy to take time off. 34% say the high cost of going somewhere keeps them going to the office, while 32% want to save vacation days for real emergencies. You know, I know exactly how frustrating that can be, working too hard, not taking time off, so here's my plan for you. Work hard and give me your vacation time. I'm willing to make that sacrifice for you. In Germany, a businessman who earns $30,000 a month was convicted of stealing $58 of veal from a grocery store by going through the self-checkout lane and disguising the veal as fruit. That is a strange crime, isn't it? I mean, if I made $30,000 a month, you wouldn't catch me doing my own shopping. George Clooney is making political noises, like someday he might run for something, although he already promised to run to the border if Trump got elected, and he still hasn't kept that campaign promise. While few people enjoy a trip to the dentist, it's particularly bad for redheads, according to scientists. Carrot tops are twice as likely as blondes or brunettes to avoid the dentist because of fear-related anxiety, according to a report in the Journal of the American Dental Association. Researchers believe it's because the gene melancortin-1 receptor, which causes red hair, may be present in redheads' brains, making them more susceptible to pain. 
So, lay off. It's not my fault. I'm a wussy man. Authorities say the guy found skunks in the crawl space of his suburban Detroit home. He thought he'd try a smoke bomb to get them to leave. He ended up burning down his house. Burndale Fire Chief Kevin Sullivan says the house was a complete loss, and the blaze quickly spread from the crawl space to the first floor. The fire eventually spread through the walls and attic of the rental property. Sullivan says the department advises that people hire pest control professionals, but if somebody is an absolute die-hard do-it-yourselfer, you should at least read the warning labels. The kicker here? No skunk carcasses were found. Another Sylvester Stallone is dead rumor made the rounds of the internet the other day. Sly assures us, though, he is not dead. His acting career? Okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but maybe you got something there about the whole death thing. Fallen evangelist Jim Baker's back, preaching that the apocalypse is near. Notice how he waited until Billy Graham was taken home to the pearly gates before coming out with this nonsense? Something Billy would have called him on the carpet for? An extensive study finds that American parents have stopped spanking their kids as much as they once did. Well, yeah, all the kids got smart and lawyered up. Now, Black Panther is being criticized because, while it features lots of African Americans, there are no gays in the film. For crying out loud, people, must the social justice warriors ruin absolutely everything that is supposed to be fun? I mean, rather than just immediately looking to be offended, being ultra-critical to find something to complain about, how about we all just sit back and enjoy the movie for its intended purpose – to entertain? Are we just not capable of that anymore? In Great Britain, all of their KFCs have run out of chicken. That'd be like, here in the States, all of the McDonald's running out of meat-like substance. A recent study finds that blotting pizza with a napkin to remove excess grease can remove around 40 calories per slice. Plus, you then have a pizza-flavored napkin, and that's a great source of fiber. Walking Dead actress Lauren Cohen has joined the cast of a new TV show on ABC. So, guess which character I'm voting will be the next main course for a zombie all-you-can-eat buffet? An expert claims that humans should be able to achieve immortality by the year 2050. Great, I can live forever in an 81-year-old body. Just living the dream. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You don't have to leave the house, you don't have to buy stamps, and you still get a physical card in the mail with whatever message you wish to send. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards or create one of your own, complete with your own pictures if you wish. Try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!